The referee, Mr. Ackerman, checks his watch and makes sure that everybody's ready and we're underway. It's live here on BBC Radio Shropshire. Kick up tries to win the ball back, which he does so. Here's trainer, midway inside the Corby Half. Good square pass to Adams. On his right hand side, drills it and it isn't too far away from John Adams. Made a good connection, but he couldn't get it on target. Ribs, you name it. Andy Brown's been in the walls the last couple of seasons. James Laurie has the ball in front of the halfway line. Now he enters the Corby half. Greg Mills makes a brilliant run. It's two on one. It's against the keeper. Mills has put it straight into the hands of Packery. Trainer on a follow up. Looks to get it to Pradlock in the back post. And it's wide. Seeing some potential with the former Telford man last season. Here comes a corner towards the back post. Ryan Young comes to punch it. And it's kicked wide. Ryan Young didn't make a proper connection with his punch. And really, he should have been punched. It's Jarman putting it wide from seven yards. Pass it back towards Trainer. Trainer plays it square to Rogers, 20 yards away. And now they pick out Mills, staying wide on my left wing. In comes across, right footed to Laurie. Laurie gets his head onto it. Thackeray scampering to his right hand side. And he catches it. Chances. Yeah, it's lively stuff. There's been quite a lot of chances at both ends, really. And give Corby their credit, they're coming forward quite regularly. Corner's whipped in. Oh, they scored, Corby! It's a header at the near post. And it's Jarman who's got a glancing header at the near post. And, uh, well, it just goes straight into the top right-hand corner. And against the run of play, Corby have taken the lead against Telford here in the FA Trophy at the Bucks head. Jarman celebrated that. I wasn't sure if it wasn't Salmon who even headed that into his own net there. That was a, a real mix-up, but it was, it was just simply too easy for Corby. And for Telford to find themselves behind, they'll be really frustrated because Corby haven't really looked like having too many clear opportunities. And work now for Telford to do. Certainly, and uh, there should be some questions asked of the Telford defence there. Where was the marking at the near post? Here, trying to create something. That's good movement by Rogers, just to provide an option for... Uh, Salmon and great one-two between Trainer and Laurie. Trainer shoots and it's into the hands of Thackeray. That was a great one-two by Trainer, flicking it into the path of Laurie. Laurie spotted that Trainer was continuing his run. 1-0 against Newcastle. As Greg Mills breaks down the left wing, he's got the pace and he's causing them some problems. He looks to shoot. Oh, he isn't too far away from Greg Mills. The six-yard box and it comes from Adams. It's towards the back post. Good header! post it was a brilliant free kick from John Adams great height over the keeper and there was Carl Rogers and Mart heading it from about two yards away into the back of the net and Telford are back on terms on the stroke of half time in the effort to take it just incidentally as they prepare to take this Andy Brown's coming on in a second for sure he's stripped on his shirt in comes a corner Killick with the header cleared up the line back in by Laurie and that's very unfortunate Killick with the header at the near post but cleared off a line, the ball's back in, towards Trainer at the back post, and right hand side, Will Salmon, the right back, getting forward, he's got Carl Rogers overlapping on the right, Adams behind him, he looks to chip it in, but it's to the back post and nobody's there, so finally we get to see the partnership that a lot of people have been waiting for, Brown and Proudlock up front, and I think it's fair to say that's the best partnership on paper. Right footed, it's a high one, Killick's underneath it, he wins the header but it goes over and a goal kick for Corby. They'd rather be having a rest ahead of training on Thursday. Well here's a chance, Mills down his left wing, towards the byline, passes it back to Newton, Newton floats it in, great header! Brilliant goal, John Adams! Top shot of a brilliant afternoon, John Adams, he was a the provider earlier on and now he's the goal scorer. Adams won the header, the ball was nearly uh, bouncing right down towards the, the grass but he decided to swoop and got a brilliant touch onto it and it's into a bottom right hand corner, Telford 2, Corby 1. Yeah, Green on BBC Radio Shropshire, the cross comes into the penalty spot, through with the header into the hands of Ryan Young. Well, from that position to get any power at all and Ryan Young just plucked it out of the air. Here comes Mills into the area, towards the near post. Gulliver has brought down Greg 
Derek Mills and Telford could finish this game off here. Still a bit to go, but you would think a third goal with the way Telford have dominated proceedings. He is the regular penalty taker, and this would be a dream comeback for Brown. With a number 16 shirt on, and he waits. It was Gulliver that brought down Mills. Brown steps forward now and saved! The tie is still alive in the FA Trophy. Great save by Thackeray. And I think that's two penalties in a row now that Brown has missed. I've got to say, Brown's recent record from penalties is poor. Minutes. It, it just seemed an odd one for my money. Is Michael Fruit to hope. Mackey's got room to shoot. Saved by Ryan Young. Glow to his right hand side. I, part of me would go for Adams or Newton, but here is Adams on the ball. Lovely pull over towards Mills on this left edge of the area. Mills shoots! Oh, it just drops over the bar and it wasn't too far away. Both defensively and overlapping, he's linked up very well with Greg Mills. Proudlock wins the ball to Mills. Mills gets the ball in! Oh, it's just missed the far post! Their own half, but Telford on the back foot here, they're sitting deep. In comes across to the back post. Ryan Young comes and catches it next to a penalty spot. Keep glancing at his man. watch and uh, a free kick, but we're looking at, at our watch at the same time. We've had a good 30 seconds extra. Maybe they are going to have one last chance here. Here's Mackey. He's tackled by Killock. Mackey's got it back. Then Whitehead comes through, and that's it. Telford have won by two goals to one as the referee puts the whistle to his lips. Telford through to the next round of the FA Trophy. They've beaten a very resilient Corby Town side. But